okay quick one guys so i've been having some issues fitting an image or a jpeg into a perspective like this one i have here like i already know we can fit a part or an object into a perspective for instance this is my logo to fit this my logo into this perspective all i need to do is to go to parts i click on parts effects click on this plus icon here and then i scroll down and select perspective so once i have that selected i just need to click on my notes tool let me close this window so you can see these four nodes are now around this my logo that is a part so to now make this fit in this perspective i can just bring this down here and let the line align to like skew it in place you can take this one up you can also open the parts effect menu and do some few settings on the part but yeah once i just have them aligned you can see that it's not that perfect but like just to show you so that's how i can like fit my logo into this perspective but to do that with but that is not possible with an image so what i have kind of like been doing is to just try and play around with the skewness of the image for instance this one now to try and fit this i can just move it like this and try to rotate my image a little bit take it to the top i can just play i'll just play around with the skewness and you can see it's not really fitting the perspective as i would love to after searching the internet looking for solutions to this problem i did came across a youtube channel by satarial rama i don't know if i pronounced that well but he did come up with a solution but the tutorial is done in indonesia so i thought i should redo this tutorial in english for you guys to really understand so apparently it's an extension that you need to download so someone created an extension on inkscape we know that inkscape is a free and open source software so anyone can work on this so someone created an extension so all you need to do is to click the link i will drop in the description it will take you to this site so this is where you will download the extension so you just scroll down here once you scroll down you click on this download button and your extension will begin to download i have downloaded this extension before but just to show you guys i will be download it so i just have to click on the download button so once you have clicked the download button it should already be downloaded all you need to do is to open the download file so this is what i've just downloaded once you click on the file you open the file location so once you have opened the file location you just have to extract it so i right click and click on extract once it's extracted you open the file you will see another file you have to open that file again so these two files that are here you just have to copy them so you highlight two of them and click on ctrl c on your keyboard to copy so after copying you go to your local disk then you open your program file after opening your program file you look for inkscape you open your inkscape after opening the inkscape you look for the file that says share open the file also then open inkscape again after opening opening inkscape you just paste the what you are whatever you have copied so i've done this process before i don't need to paste it so once you paste it it is done then you go back to your inkscape so once you open back your inkscape if you have your inkscape open before you paste that file you have to close it and reopen it again so that the settings can appear but i've also done that process of post it and i've closed and opened my inkscape so once you have done all of that all you need to do is go to your extension once you go to your extension you are supposed to see a extension that says raster perspective and this is the perspective once you have seen this that means the extension have successfully been activated on your inkscape so once the once the uh once the extension have been activated all you need to do to set a perspective is to head over to your bezier tool so after selecting your bezier tool you draw around the perspective you want to fit your image to if you have issue using the bezier tool i have a playlist on my channel which i do explain things about inkscape which i will link in this video so once you click on the bezier tool you just draw around the perspective so you can see let me change the outline so you can see the line i have just doing this is the line i have just doing so 
once you have drawn the line all you need to do is to select the line and the image you want to fit on the perspective right now i have the line selected i'll just hold down my shift and select the image also once i have the boot selected i just have to go to my extension i head over to raster perspective then i click on perspective and i'll wait for it to do its job so you can see that is just simple the image has been fit into the perspective perfectly well better than the previous way i used to do it so if this video was helpful kindly leave a like and also thanks to satirial raman for making the tutorial and whosoever made this extension this has been helpful for me since i got to know about it and thank you guys also please consider subscribing to the channel and check out my playlist list where i explain everything about inkscape thank you guys and i'll see you in the next peace